Sports Video Group is on the scene at Super Bowl 54 with Fox Sports. Brandon Costa from SVG here with the man running this whole show, Mike Davis from Fox Sports. Mike, awesome to see you. Looking great. How's everything going? Hey, everything's going great. Yeah, it's really the team. They get all the credit. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, well, there's obviously a loads of highlights that we can go through on this very tech-heavy production, um, but let's start with the, the main key highlight, which is that this game will be available uh, to those who can access it in UHD and HDR to 1080p HDR production here on site. What's it been like executing that, and maybe what have been some of the key learnings of making it happen here at this show? Well, it's been kind of an evolution the whole time. I mean, we've done a bunch of 1080p HDR thanks to people like you know, Brad Chaney and Mike Drazen, they've kind of made it easy for us. We've come up with our recipe of making it happen. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's kind of production now. Uh, you know, it's uh, not a science project. It's a, um, it's a real, uh, uh, it's another uh, stop in the workflow, but uh, we, um, we're pretty comfortable with it right at the moment. I probably wouldn't have said that a year ago. Sure, sure. I, I bet. Now, you have an 8K camera here and you're doing some things with it now. I don't know, do me describe for the audience what exactly you're doing with it here and maybe what some of the experimentation is that's going on. Yeah, so we've actually got four. Uh, we have three Sonys and one Canon uh, 8K. So what we're doing from a production standpoint with the 8K is, first of all, we'll be the first to actually shoot a Super Bowl in 8K, mm -hmm. even though that'll just be one camera. I really don't think that'll be uh, that uh, exciting of a show, yet there it is. Um, and then we have two other cameras that are going to be locked off. And what we tried to figure out was, if you have 100 other cameras, what do you do with an 8K camera? Is that going to get you anything else over all the other, you know, talented men and women that are going to be shooting this game anyway? So what we decided was that the thing that we were not covered 100% on was the benches. So we have them locked off on the benches. I have a producer who is looking uh, at the benches full time and we will be able to use the power of that big resolution to zoom in on areas of interest depending on what's going on. And that kind of came out of uh, uh, something that happened in the World Series where you had the guy with the two uh, Bud Light 16 ounce beers oh, and, yeah, instead of of, uh, <laughs> and instead of and instead of dropping his beers and, 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 and catching the ball he ended up holding his beers and taking it in the gut and I would say that we wouldn't have had that memorable shot. Yeah if it wasn't for the Sony 8300 AK. Anheuser-Busch got a whole campaign uh, out of yeah, that, thanks sure to you guys. Did. Yeah, it sure did. <laughs> uh, any other key technological highlights? Someone who's got an eye for these things, who works on production, who's at home, what's maybe some things that they might have a fun time looking out for on come game day? Well, I think it's sort of broken up into two things. We've got a massive pregame installation, uh, both in South Beach and out here in Game Day Fan Plaza, just outside the stadium. So I think if you were looking at that, uh, you would be looking at our fly cam. Uh, it's a great shot uh, down, up and down Ocean Drive. We've got a massive set uh, in South Beach with a ton of LED and just really brings the vibrancy of, uh, of South Beach out there. We've got all of our different uh, corporate entities rep represented out there. We've got Fox News. We have Fox Entertainment. We have the stations out there. So I think just bringing together that. So that'll be for your first part of your day. And then for the second part of the day, looking at the um, game itself, I think you're going to see more super motion, crisp replays than you've ever seen before. We've got a sky cam that takes advantage of the spires up here in, uh, uh, in uh, Hard Rock Stadium to uh, do a four-point rig to actually lift the sky cam up and over the uh, the roof, um, but I, I think, and we've got you know all of the pylon cams, the wireless pylon cams. So while we're not going to brand anything, you're not going to see you know the marker cam or the pylon cam or anything else. What you will see, I hope, is um, something where we can give our producers and directors all the all the tools to tell the story they want to tell. All right, Mike. Well, as we were talking about before, you guys, you know, this thing rotates between networks you all like to try to raise the bar on each other and it seems like you guys have raised the bar again here this year so congratulations on the production and thanks a lot for taking some time for us hey thanks brandon yeah we're all just stewards of this game every three years and uh you know cbs raised the bar uh last year and nbc before them hopefully we'll give those guys something to chase after next year all right mike best of luck the rest of the weekend thanks brandon all right for everything else going on here at super bowl 54 in miami both here at the stadium and over at south beach visit us online at sportsvideo.org